Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and this is episode number 510. It's also going to be the final episode for the month of April and the conclusion of the last two months of the Philippine insurrection or the Philippine-American War, however you would like to describe it. We'll pick it back up some other time, uh, but the next episode, which will be on Sunday, May 1st, is going to be the Spanish-American War for two months. But before we get into today's tale, we do have two orders of business to go over. The first up is something that I somehow, I don't know how, but I did miss uh, that I should have announced on the last episode, but I missed it. And it was the passing of Mr. Kenneth Stumpf, who passed away on the 23rd of April 2022 at the age of 77. Mr. Stumpf was a former U.S. Army Sergeant Major that earned the Medal of Honor during the Vietnam War. And, uh, He will be missed, and we uh, pray for strength for his family during these times. And um, I do not think I covered his story yet, so uh, I will have a link in the show notes to the Medal of Honor Museum that has a nice write-up of him, so go check that out. In other news was a birthday yesterday, and it belonged to Mr. Robert Simonek, who was born on the 26th of April, 1930. He is one of the few Korean War recipients that is still living to this day. He is a former U.S. Marine Corps Private First Class that earned the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Korean War, specifically at the Battle of Bunker Hill. So a very happy belated 92nd birthday to Mr. Robert Simonek. That's all I have for today. Without any further ado, we'll get right into today's Tale of Honor. Charles was born on the 6th of August, 1872, in Pensacola, North Carolina, where he grew up as the third oldest of his nine siblings. He enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1898, and he was a sergeant with Company I of the 22nd U.S. Infantry when he displayed actions on the 19th of October, 1899, that would later earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads... Most distinguished gallantry in action, captured a bridge with the detachment he commanded and held it against a superior force of the enemy, thereby enabling an army to come up and cross. Charles was leading a group of 11 other scouts when they charged to the opposite end of the bridge, which contained about 200 enemy troops. They were able to hold the bridge until reinforcements came to assist, and Charles received the Medal of Honor on the 10th of March, 1902, along with fellow scout Charles Pierce. Charles did not remain in the army, and other than marrying Myrtle and having seven children, not much else is known about his life. Charles Woodville Ray died on the 23rd of March, 1959, at the age of 86 in Anadarko, Oklahoma. He is buried with his wife in the Granfield Memorial Cemetery in Granfield, Oklahoma, Block D, Lot 77. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.